going Gotta catch those runners taking off like a Boeing If the volume spikes, then it's time to trade Mighty 90 setting up, it's time to get paid Dr. Chad on the mic, time to get focused We don't need any indicator, hocus pocus It's all about the price, just watch it move Manage your risks so you don't lose First hour of trading is all we need Focus on the patience and forget about greed Good morning, everyone. Happy, what is today? Wednesday? Wednesday, October 16th. We've got the S&P up slightly, up three points. NASDAQ up 22. Russell, strongest of the bunch, up 18. Dow, pretty flat, up two points. Gold up three quarters of a percent. Silver up one and a quarter. Notes and bonds are green. 10-year yield down about 0.8%. Oil flat. Natty gas down 2%. Soybeans, corn, green, wheat, red. Euro in the uh, euro up a little bit, pound down a little bit. Bitcoin up about 1.3%. VIX is up, sitting at 20.84. Good morning, good morning. Got the opening bell in less than three minutes. On my screen that you're seeing, I've got kind of the big boys. Apple, Amazon, Baba, Coinbase, Meta, Netflix, NVIDIA, Tesla. On a separate monitor, I've got AMD, Baidu, Boeing, Roku, Google, Microsoft, MU, and CrowdStrike. But as always, if anyone sees some volume or price action of interest, please let me know. And I will add it to the screen. Today's Wednesday, so we are using the two DTE options, two days to expiration. I do have uh, several double calendar positions that I need to address. So I may have to uh, I'll try to get those taken care of before any action starts within the first 10 minutes, but Shouldn't be an issue. As far as movers this morning, Apple and Meta and Google are all red. Amazon a little bit red. On the green side, biggest green. Coinbase is up almost 4% pre-market. NVIDIA up Almost two, MU up, so the chips are up, AMD up, MU up, SMCI up. So some of the big tech are down, but big chips up. Expected move for the day in SPX looks like it's right around 24. Expected move for NDX looks like it's right around 110. Opening bell right now. And here we go. Get some orders in on these double calendars just to get that out of the way. A couple of them are bot managed. I 
I will also be trading a one DTE iron condor, which is via the bot. So I don't have to worry about trying to execute that order. Here's the market still a little on edge as it was edging green. VIX was still, still not coming down much, presumably based on the uh, potential conflicts about to erupt in the Middle East. S&P and NASDAQ coming down a little bit these first couple minutes. All right, I got out of one of my two, three double calendars. Need to get filled on my one, two. <clears throat> All right. So my two four and my one three will be closed via bot. So I'll just wait for that to happen. All right. Four minutes in. Mostly red. Tesla had a little bounce, but it's coming back down. Apple down below yesterday's lows. Meta down below yesterday's lows. NVIDIA dipped, but it's trying to bounce. Same with the S&P. Roku popped up above yesterday's highs, but coming back down. That has the Roku has the looks of a stop hunt. Quick flush above. Coming down. All right, first five minute bar is complete.
So like I said, we'll be using the two-day options today. Choosing a strike right around the money. Tesla acted strong right out of the gate. Now it's back into the red down below yesterday's close. Coinbase popped above yesterday's high and flushed back down. AMD dropped down and touched unchanged and bounced. Not seeing any quick volume coming in on this second bar yet. Baidu, maybe. Put Baidu over here instead of Baba. Meta punched below yesterday's lows. Now let's pop back up above it. Yeah, Apple just bleeding lower. After it started off strong yesterday and they just bled all day. So we've got about a minute and a half left on this second bar. Not a lot of volume coming in. All right, so no volume runners. Got about 10 seconds till this second five minute bar closes. So we wait. Closed out my one three double calendar.
SPX NDX getting a little bounce. Baidu back up through highs. Tesla staying green. So Baidu and Baba got hit pretty good yesterday. Gap down. Bouncing back up today. Meta just kind of chopping at yesterday's lows. Little choppy so far, my friends. Little choppy. I do breaking out to the upside. NVIDIA coming down to the lows of its initial range. NVIDIA's got a little volume bar that's a little bit higher than the last one. <clears throat> if I took a long in NVIDIA, I would want it to come down to yesterday's close. Nice flush. I'd be trade I'd be trading the 133 calls in Nvidia. Get a little volume pop. I'd like to see it just a little more flush.
Video's still coming down. NDX is already down to its expected move for the day. So you could consider NVIDIA here. Came down to that level. There's a quick bounce off of it. NVIDIA would be a mighty 90 long. You'd have had to have an order waiting because it bounced quick. It did what I kind of was hoping for it to do, but I wasn't quick enough. Just kind of popped down there and bounced. So chess master, you're taking the trade, but you don't even know how to manage the strategy. Hopefully you're paper trading. Not smart, my friend, not smart. I prefer to take half off or more at a 10% profit and then wait for two green bars. Close the rest. Chess master, you are a airline pilot. Isn't that right? Okay, so how much how much like process and preparation did you put into becoming a pilot? I would assume a lot. Yeah, but yet in your trading, you're just kind of flying by the seat of your pants. You need, to, you need to have a plan, my friend. You need to have a process. You need to have a checklist. You need to understand exactly what you're doing. The sharks are in the water and you're, you're trying to trade against them. Netflix, it's not really a push. I mean, it's got a little volume pop. I'm not going to take that one. Could bounce here, but I don't really like the price action in Netflix for a mighty 90 here. Uh, yeah, Dark Avenger, I did one DTE. NVIDIA getting that nice bounce.
I didn't have any didn't have any increasing volume. All the volume was decreasing El Piero. Yeah. Well, we had the one opportunity in NVIDIA. I missed it. Roku, yeah, that looks like a really nice stop hunt. It not only flushed yesterday's highs, but there's a a high mark, high mark from September 19th that it kind of popped above. Did a little stop hunting coming down. All right, so now Netflix, another little, another little push right below yesterday's lows. Tesla coming back down towards lows. That thing's all over the place. A little, little volume pop. I mean, it's getting about as big as the second volume bar in Meta. Got about a minute left here. Let's see what Meta does. It's not really a volume spike. It's it's a little bit higher than the the previous one, but it's still only about as high as the, the second one. So it's not really a it's not really a great push. I mean, these mighty ninety. We really want to see a flush with volume pop, kind of like we saw in Nvidia. That's a that's a much better. Example of a price push. Netflix trying to bounce. NVIDIA trying to give a second green bar. If I was in NVIDIA, I would I would be holding a runner here for sure. I mean with Netflix and Meta I don't like those as mighty 90s but we'd see a bounce here. I'm just saying I would hold a, a runner, meaning I would not close my entire position. I mean, you, that bar didn't turn green anyway, so technically you didn't get two green bars. But I was just saying holding a runner, meaning holding a small portion of my position. So if I, I did a 10 lot, you know, I might, and I got out of eight, I might hold two as runners. Runners.
Boeing back up through highs of day. S and P just kind of grinding lower, like it did most of yesterday afternoon. Or actually, yeah, pretty much all day yesterday. Nasdaq a little bit more force to the downside, but VIX is contracting. Had a little pop up to twenty one, and now it's it's been contracting for the last fifteen minutes. Yeah, rep strong again today. Microsoft coming down hard. Google through lows of day. Baidu through highs of day. Coinbase looks like it's wanting to bounce. It's going to come down and test that 198 level several times. No volume for a setup, but. I'm going to put Microsoft over here. Just get a little bit of gradual increasing volume. Long MU based on what? Just because it's strong today? I don't trade that way. So you can see Meta got a tiny little bounce. Now it's back down through lows. Microsoft was kind of just gradually increasing volume, but let's see. Let's see where we go here. Yeah, I guess, uh, I mean, what you just need to have your line in the sand if it goes against you, uh, Dark Avenger. There's not really any, it's just kind of chopping the grinding higher since the open. Kind of pre market it. And it's just been kind of grinding higher. NASDAQ still going lower. S&P just kind of, it's lower, but just grinding.
Yeah, NVIDIA did not give that second green bar, did it? No follow through. S&P and NASDAQ, a little bounce and a little, some little tiny bouncing. No, not a lot to do today. Not a lot to do. This is this is this is the kind of time when I think a lot of a lot of new traders will try to force something. But uh, being patient is a big part of the game. Tesla back up. Just can't figure out which way it wants to go today. SP NASDAQ bouncing S&P now back, back up to the top of its range. NASDAQ off its lows. Coinbase took off. See, I really, I really like that little taily action. Came down and test that level several times and then took off. I will take those types of trades sometimes. Just kind of look at it as a, a level rejection or test it several times and just can't do it. I, I like to see it better if it's, you know, if it was down here at yesterday's close, if it's, you know, constantly trying to go red and stay green, I probably would have took along there in Coinbase. There just wasn't really a much of a line in the sand for me. And you got something kind of similar here in NVIDIA. Keeps dipping down and then popping back up. Right around unchanged as well. Google bouncing off of its lows. One DTE looks like it's up about 20%. Is that right? No. Yeah, it's up about 16%.
Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and transform my 1D to E. To a risk-free upside vertical. Microsoft, a little bounce, S&P through its highs of its range. Nice bouncing Google. Nice bouncing Tesla, bouncing Coinbase. Nvidia staying weak. Still green on the day, but not much of a bounce with the NASDAQ and the S&P bouncing. Disney. Yeah, I mean, it's already kind of taken off. I'm not chasing. Crowd strike bouncing. Yeah, coin getting a little increasing volume here. It's about to end. It has a couple of increasing volume. That the previous one was a little bit more of a pop, but but I also kind of see it as just a little bit more gradual, you know, compared to the earlier ones, about the same amount. Video still looks like it wants to go up, but it's not participating. Not yet. Google back up to the high end of its range for the day. Boeing back down to lows of day. There goes NVIDIA starting to pop a little bit. All right, there we go. Got filled on my 1DTE transformer.
Well, my friends, not much going on here. So NVIDIA was one that I would have taken had I been quick enough to get filled. Would have make you it would have made you wait, but it's it's pushing now. Um the other one that I would oh wait, Amazon little little pop. I push through highs of day with a little volume pop. The other one what I was saying is the other one I was uh watching was Roku, how it kind of flushed above these recent highs and came back down, just looked, had the eye, had the eyes of a stop hunter and it still coming down. I would have used, you know, that yesterday's high is kind of my line in the sand. It happened pretty quick. So I didn't, I didn't get in that either, but that one's doing, doing good. So those are really the only two that I would have considered taking today. I don't think Airbnb is very tradable, is it? Those are some pretty wide bid ask spreads. 40 cents wide on $130 stock on the call side. Yeah, I don't think I would trade that. Sounds like some good homework for you today, Chess Master. Every detail of the strategy is explained in the course. Yeah, you definitely could have taken a short on Amazon. Chess Master, I would challenge you to put together a trade plan, my friend. A written trade plan for exactly when and how you enter trades, for exactly how you manage trades. Put together a pilot's checklist, my friend. It'll do you wonders. Coinbase still going up after that increasing volume. Approaching yesterday's highs. Yes, thank you, Dark Avenger. The pre-flight checklist. Everyone should have a pre-flight checklist. Chess master, you thought you were retired. Back in the uh, back in the cockpit, my friend. So Boeing's coming down below the overnight lows. Not not really much volume coming in though. Yeah, Amazon's given a second red bar. So there, there are a couple little opportunities today. But all right, all. Everybody have a good day for Zero DT Ears. We will see you at Power Hour. Otherwise, have a good day. Manage your risk. Book some profits. We'll see you at the end of the day. Cheers.